What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a super exciting day. We have a uh, 2022 GMC 1500 Denali. Gentleman drove all the way from Maryland to get his McGoy's kit and 26 inch KG1 spreaders today. And you guys know that I'm always excited when I have something to come from out of town. So we're gonna be filming the process of the truck today. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Let's get this bread. What do you do with, what do I do with my hands? I was <laughs> What do I do? I was with? reaching for the camera. Oh, it's like, what do I, what, what are you doing here? I was a little. Spencer bought this truck six days ago. Was it pearl white, you think? What color do you think this is? Pearl white. Pearl white? Leonard, what's the vibe today? Welcome all. Heard. Got it. All right. Pearl white 2022, all the way from Maryland. Look at this. Hold on. Oh, so you, is it from, or you're from Maryland, but the truck's not from Maryland. No. Either way, it don't really matter, but it's going back to Maryland. That's all that matters. Look at this. He's had the truck for six days. I'm sitting in it. I don't care. Oh, that's cool. How do you, why have Ubers not adapted to doing this? Like Uber drivers? I feel like it'd be really cool to get into an Uber and have the stars up there. I don't know. Just, just the thought that I had. But Mr. Spencer over here is getting his nine inch McGoy's kit. Where is it at? Sitting back here. I know it's super exciting to see your kit in the box, isn't it? Your weapon today. Gotcha. It's already recording. It's easier if I do it this way. So, I, I figured it would take too long to take the whole kit out and show you. I could show you the cross member at least. It's in the box over there. That's too easy. But at least wanted to take the control arms out and show you. Upgrade you to the to the McGoy's upper control arms. And I'll get the cross my brow so you can see it too. Um, I want to give a I want to give a huge shout out to Jim Hill. I need to call Jim Hill. Jim Hill, you're on YouTube and I love you. I just wanted you to know that. Yeah, excuse me, man. I've been waiting for you to call me. I have your control arms. I'm waiting on your caps to come in. Okay, uh um, They should be here within the next couple of days. Yeah, just schedule it in and we'll do it uh, whenever you get a chance. Alright, I'll call you back in a little bit. Alright, sounds good. Alright, bye. Right, Jim Hill, ladies and gentlemen, love him to death. I just want to give a shout out to Jim Hill right there. I don't know why I say his full name and not just Jim, but I have him safe as Jim Hill. You know what? He's filming me work right now. I never. <laughs> Somebody came up here yesterday like, wow, he's out here working? So we got here. Traction bars. The traction bars are getting picked up today. They'll be here sometime around lunch. We actually have to do the whole lift kit before we can even put the traction bars on. So the whole lift kit has to get installed. The truck has to be on the ground so they can attach the rear traction bars to the frame. But so those are coming a little bit later. So not having those at the moment is not a huge deal. I don't know why I'm always using this box. This is a different box. That's what these pieces are. But are the inserts for the rear so they'll match? I think it's gonna look good. Spencer's getting this set of 26 by 14 KG1 spreader with the floating center caps. Floating center caps, or at least billet center caps, are a must when you're doing forged wheels at this point. Most of your forged wheel companies, JTX, American Force, KG1, Amani, and I think HD Pro as well, and there's probably, I think Hostile too. Most of your forged wheel companies are coming with some form of billet cap, and then it's normally just a small upgrade fee to go to the floating caps, but I feel like you just gotta have the floating caps at this point if you're doing 24, 26, or anything bigger. And I'm a big fan of the KG1 spreader. I got it on my truck, obviously, but 
but I think the 26 inch spreader, we did the 28 inch spreader the other day and it looked really good, but something right in the middle of that 20, something about that 26 is, I think the 26 is gonna look really good with a set of Furies, 37, 14, 50s, 26, 14. This is a 2024 and I don't believe him at all. $200. What? The rule is only the high country's got the facelift. Only the high country's got the facelift. Really? Yeah. So it is a 24. I got the cheap one. I still don't believe him. I'm just saying, I don't believe him. 2024, high country, 2500. I wanted to show you guys this truck that we did a couple weeks ago. We did this truck for Mitch. We did a leveling kit, some 24 by 10 KG ones, and a 325, 45, 24, which is like a 35. So we did 35s and like a 10 wide. 24 by 10 KG one heathen. Now, there's not a lot of companies that make a 10 wide wheel in a 24. Most of what you're gonna see is a 24 by 12. This one is special, obviously, because it is a 24 by 10, and it doesn't have very much lip. So you can build something with a 24 inch wheel with 35s without having to do a big wide wheel and tire. So leveling kit, 24s, 35s, a little bit of trimming, and you can still have that 24 inch with 35 look that you're looking for on these new body style trucks. So I want to show you guys this one before it left. I've always been a fan of this one. And it's got the floating center caps. all stopped up feel like crap i don't know why but we're gonna push through either way because we got bread to get i feel like y'all really don't think this chick-fil-a thing is real like we really do be eating chick-fil-a every day it's probably not a good thing no. but all i'm saying is if it costs me average nine dollars every day to get chick-fil-a in the morning there's things that i would rather cut out of my life to save money before i get to cutting out chick-fil-a that's all I'm saying. Point made. Correct me if I'm stupid in the comments, because I did not know this. During certain times of the year. Don about to get his ass lit up. Why? What's he doing? He said he's gonna throw that football and hit that beach, man. Did you spray water at it? Yeah. And it didn't work? It don't it barely hit something that ain't enough to float them down. Really? Oh god. <laughs> See the wasps up there? Oh, they're chilling. Uh, I was in there. I was in there pooping, wondering how that was gonna go. I guess it didn't go well. What you eating right there, dude? What is it? At the gates, <laughs> split a perky. No, you Wee. don't want no perk, bro. You want a tab. Uh, no. no, you don't want none of that. Yeah, you need a rock. This is allergy medicine. Crush it up and snort it, allergy bro. If medicine. you want to be Absolutely a real. Absolutely not. You heard what PDO said. Bad about going to the gas station and getting the what's it? Benadryl. Benadryl, yeah, Benadryl, Damn. and it makes it would make me drowsy, and I'd be up here about to fall asleep up here. My question is, could this explode? Is that safe? That. Don't worry, man. We'll get the sandwiches later, bro. Yeah, we're gonna sit out of here and work. Me, man, over there sitting, waiting on his truck, so he didn't go home. Yeah, you were there eating the foodie, bro. You didn't even work on his truck. You had to do the alignment probably three times. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Update. I don't know why it's still burning. I feel like it's gonna explode. Kind of terrifying, not gonna lie. Come outside and something's on fire. Dump the whole bottle on it. Fire, fireman Chewy. Might have set it right back on fire, Papa Chewy. Really? Now it's recording. I'm recording. It's fucking hot, bro. Look, we build Chevys a lot, right? We got one, no, it's a GMC. See, I just I already done caught myself in a lot. I'm always trying to show love to my Ford, my Ram, 
my Jeep people especially. Uh, this one's an electric Jeep actually. So, is he stealing the sandwich? Look, what are you doing? Oh, he's stealing tools in a sandwich. So, man. Uh, I want to show you guys a Jeep that we finished up for my buddy that lives in Atlanta. This is Micah. Micah's Jeep, he's gonna be, uh, damn, what's the word I was gonna use? Stunting. Anyway, sorry. Did a two and a half inch lift on this Jeep. Um, this one's really weird because it is electric, which kind of kind of throws me off a little bit. I don't know how to feel about it. The PDO went to go pull it in and he couldn't figure out how to get it to move because it's like, I don't know. Anyway, uh, 2212. Dang it, Typhoon. Typhoon, hell yeah, I remember that. 22 by 12 Typhoon. How were we saying it the other day? What? Typhoon. Typhoon, yeah. <laughs> with my favorite tire of all time, we got the Trail Grappler. You can't beat the Nittos. Fuel's got a great wheel out there. The white and black went really well together. <laughs> Something that's cool about these electric Jeeps is, uh, oh, I don't know if it comes with just the electric or if it's just these, but uh, back there, dying back there, is it just electric? That comes with a little blue accent? That's dope. I really like the little blue. It kind of matches uh, Rob's truck out front that's been here forever. Rob, come pick your shit up. I'm tired of looking at it. I'm just kidding, I love you Rob, but I want to show some love to Micah for coming through, spending some money with us, he's a fan of the channel, I want to give a, give some love to him, so make sure you guys uh, go show some love, tap the like button for Micah's uh, Jeep over here. Rush, you started eating. I wasn't even busy. Go have, have a little so sandwich. four cars ahead of me. Yeah, one car in the Go have a little nice little break on everybody. One car in the screen. Can't eat Subway. 10 a.m. eating his lunch. That's right in the middle of a rush. Spencer brings Subway and meats back there just... They're battering, I think. Am I doing it alive or not? <laughs> you didn't even work on his truck. I'm just messing with you. They said that outside. I feel bad now. <laughs> Did you have to hear, hear the actual story of why he has these? <laughs> why? He got killed by lot lizards at the gas station and he had to look busy so he went in the Krispy Kreme. Oh, wow. The purchase of the truck does come with a tighter belt, by the way. Tighter belt. You should get a tighter belt. You don't need a tighter belt, meat. Yeah. Wow. Ladies don't try and rip your pants off. Have you ever been in a truck like this? No. Ladies gonna be trying to rip your pants off. If you haven't ever driven a truck on 26s, bro, every time you pull up to the gas station, it's a flock of women just on you. Whether you got your old lady with you or not, you better have that you belt. Beat them off with a stick. I'm supplying the stick. They might beat you off with a stick. So right. the stick. <laughs> Spencer for bringing us lunch today. He brought Subway for everybody up here at the shop. Uh, that's what we were giving me shit about earlier in the office. We got lift kit on, all the lights are on. We got 16 rock lights and wheel lights, 26s, the McGoy's kit, the upper control arms. We got about five to six hours left in the day. Throw the traction bars on, test drive, trim, align, retorque, out the door. I will, yeah, I'm gonna throw this, I'm gonna throw this in here just for Leonard, okay? So these crew cab trucks, their rear traction bars are designed to fit the crew cab short bed truck without the factory steps. And the factory steps don't allow for the brackets for the traction bars to fit correctly. So we actually have to modify them in-house, re-weld them together, and then weld them onto the truck to make it work. Now this is something that McGoy's doesn't do. So if you guys have one of these trucks and you guys have the factory steps on the side, the rear traction bars aren't gonna work, but we do it in-house. We can modify the bracket. I'm not gonna show y'all our secrets, but I'm just letting you guys know Leonard is the goat. Cuts, welds, modifies the brackets. Oh, beautiful. For the yeah, we need that, we need that pat, we need that check for the uh for the for the update on the rear traction yeah. bar. The rear modification for it. Self-tap these under my wheels. That's right. Have you been letting myself tap that thing? <laughs> oh, God. Just take this somewhere else. Just, just go. Just go. I did 100%. I cut somebody off in traffic this morning. I said, heck, you under my breath. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing at myself because I was like, damn, Jake would appreciate that. Just imagine Alex half asleep driving to work. <laughs> <laughs> just half asleep and somebody goes to cut in front of me and I cut in front of them and under my breath I'm just like heck you <laughs> alright 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 all right. Spencer drove all the way from Maryland you know I've said it like 15 times right hello 
How's it going? <laughs> I think we had a good. Uh, I think we had a good week of practice this week. Um, the guys really pulled through. I mean, we we had a couple of rainy days this week, so we had to stay indoors. We went outside, got a good couple of days. Walkthroughs on Friday went well. Showed up for the game today. Defense could have uh, definitely made a couple couple of stops there in the second half. We let them get back into the game, but uh, we had some good plays on special teams and offense uh, came through. And ultimately, you know, we came out with a win. We got a we got a day off Sunday. Back to work on Monday. Ready to get back to it. We got a we got a what's place down the road next week. So it's gonna be. A Big game for us next week, so uh, ready break. What? what? It wasn't recording. Oh, none of it. Nice. Unless it shut off at some point, it wasn't recording. Awesome. I assume that you were recording when you handed it to me. Maybe I don't know. 2022 GMC 1500 Pearl White. Let me run you. Let me run y'all through this kit real quick. We just filmed this whole freaking thing and it didn't record, so we're gonna run through it one more time. My favorite lift kit of all time, we got the 9-inch Begoyes with the billet accent pieces. In my opinion, out of the box, it's the nicest lift kit, and I'm always I'm always going to be a fan of Begoyes. It's the, it just, to, in my opinion, it's the best option for a truck like this. We did the upgraded upper control arms with the kit, because in my opinion, if you're going to do the Begoyes, having the matching upper control arms just gives it a really nice look in the wheel well. We got the billet accent pieces on the front compression bars as well. Super nice accent that they add on to the kit for free. And then if you guys really want to upgrade, the upper control arms are an upgrade, but the bigger upgrade, to add to the kit is the rear traction bars. They come raw, we get them powder coated black to match the lift kit, and then they come with the billet accent pieces uh, to go inside as well. Just something super nice to add to the rear of the truck, gives it a little color, matches the front cross member. It's like having a nice pair of shoes, nice shirt, nice pair of pants, it just all kind of matches together, right? 26 by 14 KG1 spreader, my favorite wheel that KG1 has right now. We've done a 24, a 28, and now a 26. If you want my opinion, I feel like the 26, something about the concave with the 26 just looks the best in my opinion. And then we did the billet floating center caps and the matching spike lug nuts as well. Infinite off-road lights. We got a dual inner and outer row of RGB infinite off-road wheel lights. And then we did, what did we do, 16 rock lights? Yeah, we did 16 rock lights on this one. So we got two in each wheel well, two on each side, two front, two rear. 16 rock lights, wheel lights, 26s, 37, 14, 50, 26, Fury, I'm, I'm missing the tires. Fury's got the best tire in the game when you're looking for anything bigger than a 24, 26, 28, 30. Who's this? You didn't record last time, you sweat. Who's this? This, this is You're supposed replaced. to be what I'm... You weren't recording last time. We're not even at a show out of town. Sweat? <laughs> All right, come on. Is it still recording? Yes. Let's just make sure this time. Yes, it's still recording. Is it still recording? I've been getting a lot of calls recently. I actually got a call from somebody today that was from Tampa, and he has a 2023 GMC Denali. So one thing that I wanted to point out about this truck is this Denali does have the adaptive ride control. Magoy's does offer an adaptive ride control adapter, and so does FTS. So if you guys have adaptive ride control on your Denali's or your high countries, it is 100% possible to do a 9-inch option with 26s or any kind of 14 wide with a 37. And any of those shops out there, like the guy from Tampa just said, any of the shops that don't think it's possible or don't want to cut this much, I'm here just kind of giving you guys an example of what you can do to make this work for your customers or if you are a customer and you want to make the drive, I'm just, I want to be living proof that it's possible to do this. Trim the front bumper a little bit, cover it up with some door trim, take the mud flap off in the back, trim that bracket off, and then we uh, push the fender liner back and cover it up with some door trim. Depending on the truck, we may paint a little bit, depending on the truck, you know, we don't want to mess up paint. We're definitely not body guys here, so, you know, we don't clean the area underneath the trim piece just because we don't want to mess up anything underneath, but this is just proof that it is possible to do a nine inch adaptive ride control high country or Denali and still get your 14 wides and 37s, whether it be 26s, 28s, whatever you want to do. And this applies to the bigger kits as well. You know, this same trim job can be done on a 12 inch with 40s and 16 wides or anything like that, or even a six inch with 14 wides and 35s. But I get uh, calls all the time and I just kind of wanted to make an updated video on what the trim job looks like. And if I didn't think that customers would approve, I wouldn't film it and show you guys, obviously. Everybody's gonna do it different, but just to get, kind of give you guys an option to be able to put the 37s and 14 wides on the bigger trucks. Different body styles will be cut differently, obviously. Like my body style is a lot more difficult to cut, but the new body style Chevys are, are really easy. So if you guys have any questions, just hit me up and let me know. Look, it's always cool for people to come from out of town. And I know you guys probably get tired of me saying this, but I love that you guys come from out of town and spend your time, spend your money, take time away from your families to come and just kind of experience this with us. You know, this one, we're, we're building 
friendships, relationships is really what we're doing here. You know, we're, we're eating lunch with people, spending time, learning about them. And it's just, it's one of my favorite things personally about the, the whole experience. Um, I don't put people in the videos, you know, unless they just want to be, but shout out to Spencer for coming through, spending his time, spending his money and everything, and just, you know, becoming a part of the family. It just, it's, we never take time to really sit down and appreciate it. And I always do it in front of the, the customers, you know, that we, we appreciate everybody for, for coming through. Spending time, spending their money, I say it a hundred times. It just it, mean, it means the world to us. I don't ever want people to think that it's just another number on a screen. It's just another lift kit sold. I mean, it really means something to us that people are willing to do this, and it's it's still kind of surreal. I don't ever feel like it's you know we're worth it. You know what I mean? But I, I appreciate. I love you guys. I've gotten so many messages recently about people wanting to see me grow and just loving the grind and seeing the growth. And I just appreciate y'all. We just hit fifty six thousand subscribers. It's just a it's a crazy. I'm, I'm like living in a crazy world. I'm leaving to go to Miami this weekend. I'm going to Texas for a Fury thing next weekend. We're going to SEMA in Vegas this year. I mean, my, my life is crazy and it's because of y'all. I mean, I'm living my dream that I had five years ago. So I just, I want to say that I appreciate y'all. I appreciate all the likes, the comments, everything. I appreciate y'all from coming from so far away and building beautiful trucks with us. And uh, I just, I, I love every one of y'all. So I'm going to stop being savvy for a minute and uh, we're going to, you know, get some, some cinematic shots of the truck, get a thumbnail and I hang out for a little bit before it's time to leave. But you guys know what it is. Let's get this bread.